Hi there everybody, Turboy here. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation for the gyrocopter today on 7 days to die. But I'm going to give you an explanation of the controller buttons. We're not using a keyboard, we're on a control pad. So for an Xbox and Playstation, your right trigger, same as your accelerate on the bike or a vehicle, and your left trigger is to go backwards but you don't need to worry about going backwards in this because it's not going to happen it's just more or less for slowing yourself down when you land but to tell the truth when you land you're actually quicker jumping off the aircraft with Y as long as you're on the ground and it'll come to a quicker stop because it does tend to roll even though you've got your finger on that left trigger and it just won't stop in time just in the case it hits something which you don't want to do your tilt up button is A on the Xbox and it is X on the PlayStation. Your tilt down is B on the Xbox and it is the circle button on the PlayStation. When you're using the tilt up and down with the gyrocopter, just hold the button for two seconds, let go, see who you are, and then just adjust as you need it. Do not hang on to these buttons, otherwise you will nose dive into the ground or you will run backside into the ground. Also another thing to do is make sure that you've had food and water before you take off because no doubt you'll go to take off and you'll find when you're up there you're either thirsty or hungry. Another thing to do is to check that you're entirely fueled depending on the length of flight you're going to do. We're not doing a big flight here but I think we are fully fueled anyway. So we'll go for it. So I'm going to keep my finger on the right trigger here. Now the left stick is to steer left and right the gyrocopter the right stick is to control your camera behind you. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to start touching that A. And there we go. And voila. Well, you'll notice that I've chopped out some of the trees here just to give myself a little piece of a landing pad, just enough space so I could land. Some of the roads will be okay, just watch for trees, buildings, things like that, because it will cause damage to it. And if you don't have repair kits, that's going to take you a little longer and you may end up having to carry this thing back. So even like a one second push on these buttons between A and B or your X and circle, you can adjust it. And we're flying pretty good, no problem at all. And what I'll do is I'll just take it round and we'll land again. See what we got on this, we should be okay. As I say, I've cut out quite a bit of trees to make sure that I did this properly. Oh, I'm going to have a tree here. Oh, he just avoids it. So we're tilting down to land. A bit steep there. Just be careful when you get close to things. Now that's me holding the L left trigger button and it's still going so it's actually quicker just to jump off and it comes to a complete stop just like that thanks for watching folks bye